that was always recording is on. Uh, the point of the USPS actions uh, were to be number one, socially distanced and co- coronavirus safe. No question about it. Number one, they must be. But also to draw attention to the USPS because it's a true crisis of democracy and it's under the radar with everything else that's going on. Um, both because it's the old, it's an institution that predates the founding of the country. It's the most democratic institution we have. And it's also going to be absolutely necessary for voting in November in particular in the middle of a pandemic, that vote by mail will be necessary. And that's one of the reasons why it's under attack. Um, And of course, it's also been an engine of the middle class, particularly for African-Americans. Hey, Lauren. What? Um, I'm having a hard time hearing you. Maybe you could get a little bit closer. There's no closer. This is really okay. This is my iPad and it's right in front of my face. Gotcha. Okay, never mind. So I don't know what's going on. Other people should turn off. Well, nobody's got their video on, so I don't know. And if everybody mutes, that might help. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, the goal, those are the goals. And so the actions need to further the goals. And we want to be informing people about the fact that the USPS is under attack. We want to be collaborating with union efforts, which we have been doing. And we're trying to get the word out. Trouble is that the press has not been showing up and we're not getting the word out without having the press and flyers only get a handful of people who we happen to connect with on a given day. They're very expensive and they're also, they also encourage people to get too close to each other. Um, So I am really concerned about that. I think what makes sense to do is instead of having this distributed rally thing that we've been doing, which we've done, and that's great. And we also gave um, the postal workers a boost on the 23rd when we brought them treats and they, they saw that we were there supporting them. We've been there, done that. That's great. At this point, we need to up the ante to get the word out to the general public and to get folks to do the things that we are asking them to do, which are writing the postcards, and calling their senators and um, that kind of stuff, and also getting the the voting uh, information, the voter information out there. So the suggestion is instead of this distributed action, why not one action at the main post office that is also the federal building, which is also the one that has the most foot and car traffic, which is the one at Liberty, and to get to call a press conference and have speakers that will entice the press to show up and get our message out there. And Debbie Dingle has already agreed to speak at seven on the 16th. Uh, she thinks it's important enough to change her schedule to be there. And uh, Linda, you, you talked to a union person and also Abdul's uh, yes. staff. Yeah. Yeah, the union person, Jane, has confirmed, and Abdul gives us a very affirmative tentative. It sounds positive to me. So that's the idea. Is And then we can be there with our signs, particularly the colorful ones that are in Maylin's yard right now. We can have the socially distanced flyer in the pocket so that any flyers that we have left over could be in there, but nobody has to be handing them to anyone. Um, unless somebody wants to do the thing that we did at stadium, which is to hold the sign up like a, like one of those plexiglass um, shields and, you know, offer it to people as they walk by, that would be fine, fine, because that's pretty low risk. But then also to have a um, kind of a, a, a table set up with the postcards so that people can fill out postcards right there and then if anybody wanders by and wants to do something so that and and have that done without even a staff person or maybe someone standing near the table but six feet back from it have a bunch of clean pens and a bin for pens that people have already used so that folks are filling out postcards right then and there that can be turned in Um, and then have another one with voting information 
how to sign up for an absentee ballot, all that kind of stuff. But to have it at, at, at like a table that's a display with QR code information or just a poster that people can take pictures of so that we're not creating a bunch of paper, which also puts people in contact, too much contact with other people when cases are going up again now. Everybody knows that, I'm sure. So that's the idea, is to do a socially distanced event specifically aiming to get press coverage to help save the post office and get folks uh, informed and doing the things that we and the union has asked that people do. That's the idea. Hey guys, I'm really excited about this plan. It makes a lot of sense to me because um, I, I think if we can get the press coverage, it will amplify our message and um, yeah, and just make our efforts just a little bit more um, consolidate our efforts and just focus on two hours at one location, everybody focusing on that. One thing I wanted to add is um, Abdullah will be speaking on the importance of vote by mail. And, and then obviously the union person who is a retired postal worker will speak from her personal perspective, you know, um, being a worker and all that. But I, I love it. That It was a brilliant idea, Lauren, and I'm really excited about it. Yeah. How about you guys? Well, my opinion is unchanged. Whatever help you guys need, wherever we can plug ourselves into it, we're there. I think it's a good plan. I mean, you definitely need the, the, the publicity for sure. I'm now unmuted. Uh, it sounds great. Um, I'm adding a, a comment into the forum. It, it says I've been nominated to do press contact stuff, which I'm happy to do. And I wrote, I'm writing in a comment, get press contact info for us to publicize. So whoever sees that and has, you know, information about press contacts, that would be an ideal place for me to know where to find it. I, what I'll do, Ron, is put you in touch with my friend Lisa Patrell because she has, you know, all, she's the one who had that press uh press conference format thing that I posted in the sharing information Slack, and she has contacts. In addition to which, um, people may be a little confused as to why we have different websites, but the uh, newest one that people have seen, the a2b2.neighborsquad.net, the purpose of that is to be uh, public facing. So when we write press releases, we'll put them in there for the public to see. And when we get press, we'll put those in there also. So, you know, uh, under, you know, media, uh, we would have menu choices like our press releases and then, you know, press about us. Sounds great, Ron. Yeah. Um, hey, Karen and Maylin, did you guys catch all the details about the um, new ideas and how, how do you feel about them? I think it's great. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's fine. Thanks, Karen. Maylin, how about you? Did you need us to repeat anything since you got on late? No, uh, just tell me the date again that you're talking about. Go ahead, Lauren. The same day, the 16th from seven, you know, seven, probably seven to eight p.m. I don't imagine this is gonna be even a two hour thing. We could also do the thing where we show up a little bit early just to have our signs and so forth, just to be on the street, to do the same kind of stuff that we did um, the last go round, but not, getting too close to people and handing people flyers. <laughs> right, right. Yep. Great. Great. Yeah. So um, if everybody's in agreement, I'm pretty, I wish Lisa were on the call, but I'm sure she'll love it too. This is such an awesome plan. Um, I just so what is ask a question. So are we, are we talking about not doing what we had been talking about doing before and we're changing it to something else now, basically? Yes. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. My, my thing is, you know, I won't take anybody's time up, but as long as it all gets codified and we know what's up, you know, I'll, I'll get caught up and we'll find whatever it is, we'll plug ourselves into it. Yeah. This is actually much simpler. It's one place, one, one event, and the goal is to get the information out and to encourage people to take action mm -hmm. so yeah and, and I mean, we've already done all this other the other stuff we already have and it also doesn't cost us anything yeah yeah right, exactly yeah um i love this uh so what do we uh, so we have about two weeks to plan what do we do now should we um figure out some tasks and um go go from there let's let's hear from our um speakers and get those confirmed does everybody think that three speakers is fine i kind of do i think that <laughs> i do too i do too. yeah sure yeah they, they cover all the different perspectives too yeah i think it's nice and that way it's short and sweet and the press don't want to hang around for something that's going to take a long time um unfortunately it's a Thursday night, not a Wednesday night, and Ann Arbor News comes out Thursday and Sunday, and they're they're the most likely to cover this. But we potentially could get, you know, EMU radio or who knows who might cover it. Um, All right, yeah, good, thank you. M, M Live does cover daily online, though, so we would get the online yeah. coverage. No, they yeah. do. They do. Yeah. But I'm yeah. thinking about the people who are the most likely to write a postcard mm. <laughs> or call their senator mm. are the same people who read the paper paper mm. and go to the post office post office. Right. These things called letters that I've heard about. Right. People are going to follow through. Right. Yeah. Hmm. They're not. Are they're not? Unfortunately, our twenty somethings that will not right. be happening. <laughs> right. Right. Shoot. Next time we'll have to be a little bit smarter when we plan things. Then. Hmm. Right. Well, do we have to do it on Thurst on uh, Thursday? Well, we do at this point, yeah, because that's when our speakers can make it. I oh, know okay. that Debbie yeah. Dingle for fact cannot. Yeah. Come on the 15th because she can't do the Rajput Dingle debate on the 15th either because she's got a broadband town hall mm. on the 15th. So. Right. Right. And, and Abdul is super busy. And if, if he's committed to the third, the, that date, ooh, I think we should stick with it. Yep. Yeah. We're that's kind of locked in. At this mm -hmm. point. These folks are hard to pin down. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, anyway, next time we'll do better. Uh, but this is definitely, we're upping the ante and um, doing, um, okay, great. So you're saying wait until the speakers confirm and then we, the next steps will be putting out a press release and that's basically it, right? Right, well, and then also like um, somebody to take on the uh, voter registration information or vote voting okay the vote by okay we're we're asking people to take action to save the post office so we need a table that has the postcards and also the phone numbers for stabenow and peters not the generic number that was in the what the flyer says but their actual phone numbers right and uh like something that's a qr code that links people to you know, more information if they need it. So that's kind of the take action part. And then just a reminder to buy stamps. Um, and then the next table would be vote by mail, right? Because that's what uh, Abdul will be talking about. So we need somebody to, to help organize that table, which would be to gather up information on how to how to register how to request an absentee ballot all that kind of stuff that stuff is all online but it just some we just need to have the information made into a large format that can be at a table that and also a qr code or a link or whatever that people can just use with take a photo with their phone and mm. do it 
Yeah. So, you, so you're thinking like maybe blowing up this information to poster size and maybe yes. arranging it around the table so it's decorative, you know, kind of like a science fair display, something like that. Not so much. Actually make it very, very concise and sequential okay. so that people say, boom, boom, boom. Okay, I'm not registered to vote. How do I do that? Right. Oh, how do I get an absentee ballot? How do I check uh, if I'm registered? How do I check? that my ballot request has been received those kinds of things right so so like yeah get the information written up and have it large and visually appealing yeah yes this sounds like a ken kellett job to me i'll help you though ken did i hear my name mentioned yeah um when we were talking about you know getting putting presenting this information in a visually appealing way I automatically thought of you. <laughs> I was kidding. I understood. Okay. Well, and, and Solomon's website actually has good information on that stuff. Right. Hey, Ken, I'll work with you on this project. I Lauren shared a link to Solomon's website with this information. It's really nice. Um, I'll, I'll share it with you, and we can talk. We can work together. Hi, hi, sir. Okay. <laughs> You're so sweet whenever we volunteer you, volunteer, tell, told you to do stuff. What choice do I have? Yeah. Yeah. And, great. You're, and you're very, very patient, which I yes, appreciate. Yes. I am not. You're talking person. about Ken? Are you talking about this guy? <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. I wanted Karen to hear that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, guys, will you do me a big favor, please? Yes. Just say it once again. We love you, Ken. You're the best. You're so smart and good looking. No, what about the patient? Yeah. Ken is very patient, but Karen, we know that how people behave elsewhere and how they behave at home are two different things. So. Yeah. 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 You got it. Okay. okay I'm muted. Lauren and her psychology. Hey, Lauren, back to the tables. Are you envisioning like card tables? Yep. I okay. Have, got it. We've got that. I have two of them. I have a car, but it'd be nice if I didn't have to bring two tables. I have one that's like a, oh, it, we used it at art fair. It rolls up. It's aluminum. So it's oh, yeah. in a bag. Yeah. Um, and then the other one is a card table, card table. But um, I, I think I can fit. Meh. Yeah. I probably can fit both of those. Yeah. 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 Okay. We have a card table too. Got it. Well, if you've got a card table, why don't you bring your card table and I'll bring my rolled up table. Okay. Okay. That'll be enough. Okay. And Great. so there's like just a list of stuff that we need to have that we can figure out like plenty of hand sanitizer and um, pens and a, 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 a bucket of clean ones and a bucket for mm -hmm. put, put your dirty pens in here, some disinfecting right. wipes. Right. So. Right. Yep. Yep. And a stand up Bernie with one of those awesome USPS t-shirts, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Lisa now has, has, Bernie has moved out of my house. He had packed his bag and he left, but he was wearing a USPS t-shirt when he left. Mm -hmm. Great. So, Great. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think all of us should be wearing those USPS t-shirts too. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Ken and Karen, could you bring those t-shirts to the next A2B2 meeting and we can distribute them? Yeah. Hey, Ken and Karen. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. You're, you're beautiful, Ken. Yeah. Um, I have another yeah. one mine too. Awesome. Hey, there we are. Yeah. There, it's just that we have about maybe eight all together and all but one of them are XL and the other is 2X. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. My, I, I'm wearing one. Bernie has one. Good. And I have one other one, so that I can. I was going to give it to May Lynn, but yeah, that's great. Who's taking notes? I I'm taking some notes. I I'm taking some sketchy notes. Well, it's any hard to new do. items, uh, Linda. Uh, well, we can talk afterwards. How I'll get them from you. Okay, great. Hey guys, I have a question. What happens if it rains? Hmm, good question. I guess we have umbrellas. All right. Yeah. Got it. The the big question though is our sound system. That's what worries me. That's oh. why I wish we had one of those little portable suitcase rolly 
pulley ones because yeah. then you can quickly move it. It's battery operated. You don't have to worry about yeah about it. That ooh, that's a good question. I have a battery backup that produces AC power, but it only lasts for an hour. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Bob, go ahead. I want it. It's Karen. I'm uh, me and my loud mouth. I think that we should bring extra masks if we have them to hand out. Um, I have some one-time use, uh, you know, some disposable ones, and I also have about uh, 20 uh, bandanas, just red bandanas that have been washed and not touched since, that would do it in a pinch to be able to give out some kind of mask to people who don't have them. That's great. Does well, sound good? We should also then, we should probably have a third table then that's about how, why, and where to wear a mask with the free masks that people could take one if they need one. Okay, then we have a card table and I'll sign off, okay. Right, great. I can work um, with you, Karen, on the and Ken on the information on how, why, where, and when to wear a mask, because this has been a pet peeve of mine anyway. Of people not doing it, like today, when we went to pay for Miranda's battery at, at Midas, and they have the hand sanitizer, they have the plexiglass, they have the sign about mask wearing, and then the woman behind the counter isn't wearing one. So before I even walk through the door, I just I, I'm like I'm not patient anymore. I said, please put your mask on. It's the state law. And she did. But I'm like, no more, no more Miss Nice Guy. I'm done. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a good, concise way to phrase it. I'll have to remember that one. Yeah. Mm. Um, back to the rain plan, you guys. Um, Bob has, um, sounds like Ron has the battery. Bob has a generator, too. Um, yeah. Do, do we have like a little tent we can put over the sound system just in case of rain? Remember our art fair tent? Can we, can we set that up fairly easily? It's not that easy, but yeah, we can do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. In um, case but, the thing, but, the thing, but the question is, is someone going to come out and give us grief if we're doing that? Like, <laughs> Without a permit. Yeah, we're not going to get know, a permit. Well, most sound amplification on the street will require a, a permit, at least in New York City. Mm. I assume it's the same here. Um, also, on the topic of sound amplification, if what do people think about the idea if every, anyone who was speaking, we had gloves for them to put on, and they used a megaphone. You can get them new for under 30 bucks. No, yes. no, no, no. People cannot, no. People will automatically shout into a megaphone, and that's exactly when you spread droplets. And they'll be tempted to, to no, it's especially mm. no. Okay. We have a sound system. We should okay. use it. it. Is that your sound system, Lauren? It's Jim Russo's who's lent it to us. Oh. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Got it. So we'll just work on the weather. Yeah. <laughs> And Lauren, does Jim have a microphone stand? Yeah, he does. Yes, that's what we used at the three, four issues in action thing. Yeah, we need to set up a mic stand for sure. Well, look, I mean, at the last one, Ken was holding the mic, and Ken was the mic stand. No, no, I'm talking about the Ward three, four issues in action. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't there. Thing. He 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 went. He had several mic stands. Yeah, I'm sure we can borrow one from him, but this is the kind of thing that I wish that we as a group would invest in hmm. is something like this that's portable that we don't have to be using someone else's equipment and inconveniencing them. Right. I'd rather spend our money on something like that than on flyers that are a one time thing. Right. If, right. It, if, it, if it's an either or, and it usually is because. We've spent a lot of money so far on this this project, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot. Yeah, great. All right, awesome. How much do the portable ones cost, Lauren? Well, I sent a bunch of, for instances, out to people a few weeks ago. It looks as though you can get one for like, I don't know, 120 bucks or something. I was trying to figure out which ones are actually good and will work and, and be, and unfortunately most of them are things that you can't try out. 
So mm-hmm. I don't know, but it's not an arm and a leg. It's not huge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm talking about the ones that are like in a rolling suitcase with, that are battery operated so that you're not, um, you can move them quickly if it rains or, or the mm-hmm. popo are after you. Mm-hmm. Hey, Lauren, remind me, why was it we couldn't try it out? I remember that was the deal breaker the last time. Because they're, you, you order them online. Yeah. Ah. And you mm-hmm. can't go into stores really to do that kind of stuff, anyhow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that was, oh, okay, so you're talking about buying a new one then? Yeah. Okay. Well, well you're. Unless, unless gonna... I was hoping somebody had one that they would just want to get rid of. And, but yeah. Actually, um, Lori uh, and, oh my God, what am I blocking on their names? Um, who were doing the social justice choir. They do have one, uh, but they're not, I already put out feelers to try to, to borrow it or, or buy it or whatever. And they're not interested in, in doing and getting rid of it. And they're being like super, super coronavirus uh, cautious. So they wouldn't lend something and then get it back because they'd be mm-hmm. worried about it. Mm-hmm. They're immune compromised. So they're, they're um, not in a position to do that. Right. Just if you buy a new one, it's going to be decent enough. Just let me look at it and do a little research on it. Yeah. And, and we'll find something. It's just a question of, you know, I mean, everybody going to chip in 20 bucks, something like yeah. that to get it. Right. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. All right. We'll talk about that. Yeah. I can send you the links of the ones that I found and you can do some specking on it and, and take a look at it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I personally would rather throw 20 bucks it's getting something like that than 20 bucks to produce 10 flyers or something so mm-hmm. okay. um, i think we have to be careful when we say everybody throw in 20 bucks i think you know people have to say what they're willing to throw in no not- no, no 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 i don't mean that at, i don't mean everybody what i mean is exactly what i posted in the slack which is to do the stuff the way that we've been doing it which is we've either had kind of pass the hat and people chip in what they want to or are comfortable with and or nothing at all. Or we've done something for bigger projects like the the Michigan supports Bernie signs, for example, where people pledged in advance. We knew the amount it cost. People pledged, we got to that number and then people fulfilled their pledge. That's the model I mean it. Nobody should be compelled to do any anything with money. In mm-hmm. my opinion, I, I just I'm opposed to that. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. All right. Great. So, yeah. Um. So back to the um press conference. Um. Are we going to do this without a permit, or should we try to get one? If you're at the federal building in particular and you've got a congressperson coming, I think you should look into a permit. Mm. Okay. Um, I can do it uh, unless somebody else would prefer to do it. Lauren, do you want to do it? Uh, not. For, I've never actually... I've been at a gazillion things at the federal building, none of them ever having had permits. Okay. Okay. But why don't we why don't we touch base and work on that together? See what all is involved. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What if we just ask Debbie? You know, do we need a permit? <laughs> you know, would she know? I don't know that she would know. Ah, right. Okay. I can ask um Corky Wah, who did the immigrant um thing, the the right. anti children in cages event. Right. They had a big rally there and then a march and there was a PA and there were speakers and all that. I will ask, I can call her and okay. ask her okay. if she got a, had to get a permit and what all was involved. Okay. And I know that Eleanor from Interfaith Council ended up jumping in and doing helping with a lot of the details because Corky's committee just disappeared at the last minute and oh. I helped her, her do some stuff too even though Corky's politics are very neo-lib, but I ended up helping her out doing stuff because people kind of abandoned her mm. last minute. So I would hope she would be inclined to help me out since I jumped in and helped her out. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Great. All right. Um, 
Um, anything else we need to discuss, guys? Go ahead, Karen. You're doing great facilitating our meeting. Thank you, all of you. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. Likewise. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I think we've pretty much covered it, don't you think, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Um, great. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Ron, for all yeah. the technical support. Yeah, and, and, and thank you guys for everything you're doing. And uh, we're going to stay tuned. And, and uh, whatever's coming next, you know, we're, we're there. Yeah. Yeah. We've got um, two more Wednesdays to plan and two more Mondays to talk. Oh, we should find we should designate somebody to be the MC and also and also somebody to speak with the press. Oh, that's Ron. Ron, you'll be the press person. Lauren, I think you should do the MC, the facilitator. Uh, I, that's fine with me. Um, Introducing people and stuff. Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with that. Great, great. <laughs> and I will model speaking with my mask on. Yes, yes. Yeah, don't don't don't, don't like pull it underneath your nose and do that sneaky thing. <laughs> right. Yep. Okay. okay, so we're going to be talking about the uh, PA system. We're going to be talking about the plans to come. So uh, to be continued, huh? Yeah. And Ken, you and I, we can talk about the um, information, informational displays that will be around the, the tables. Um, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I'll follow up with you. Okay. And everybody, I will write this up in notes and put it in the Google Doc and Slack. And I'm clicking on the link here about the little PA system, so I'll have a look. Okay. All right, you guys. Okay, this is awesome. I'm really excited. This is my yes. Uh, when are you next available to talk to me about, about when and where and how you're putting stuff? Um. Now, from now till tomorrow to Sunday. Yeah, we have to go walking with a friend right now. Okay. Um, what day is tomorrow? So what I what I like what I like Linda is that we not have information spread all over the place. Yeah. That we not mix this in with fifty other things. Yeah. So yeah. Just starting the Google Doc. If you have something that you think doesn't belong in that Google Doc, create another Google Doc. Okay, doc. All right. As many Google Docs as you want. And then yeah. 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 Hey Ron, um, I, I can talk tomorrow, um, Saturday, like um, from about, how about one o'clock Saturday, one o'clock or two o'clock? Early morning is bad for me. Just text me after 1030 and tell me what time you want to talk. Yeah, yeah let's, let's talk tomorrow. Um, okay. And, okay, awesome. Thank you. All right, bye. All right. Okay. All right, thanks for joining us. Thanks. All right, so you guys. Talk to you soon.